Anyway, now that we're in, welcome to Route 1. You guys have just left home. Congratulations. If you're now all alone in the world at 10 years old, what kind of parent would do that? But, uh, yeah, so with that in mind, damn it, I have to go, well, I'm going to just hopefully have you guys keep track of that stuff. Uh, what? Your Pokemon. They're all oh. over the place in this manual. Yeah, yeah, we will. Or at least I will. I mean, I'll keep tabs for them. It's just that I'm sorting out some things one quick minute. Because am I happy behind you? Be not right behind you. Not my, my character is named Amethyst. She's a tabaxi with mostly black and brown fur. But white fading into gray and then black spots on her eyes and her hands and her feet. Um, and her eyes are purple because anime. Um, <laughs> because anime. And she's pretty soft spoken and talks to her Pokemon. And yeah. she's barefoot most of the time, but she has her shoes in her bag. Very nice. Uh, um, well, I have a character named. Well, not her actual name, but it's nickname because she's a small beat gnome. She's a beat gnome. <laughs> I did write this down, so don't worry. I'm not making this up as I'm going. Um, more or less, she's pretty much almost very chill. I would say that. But as far as her outfit goes, it's roughly what the picture has. Roughly. Um, I don't have the picture up right now. Oh, now I do. Um, well, minus the scabbard and, and the poor tab that's there. <laughs> uh, that's it. So our purpose is our purpose in this game is to let you like we're playing Pokemon. Yep. Pretty much. So pretty much head toward eventually get beat the elite four and become the champion. Pretty much. Or and I go towards maybe, what? and maybe some surprises on the way. Who knows? <gasps> yeah. I go in the tall grass. Okay. I have a feeling. I have a feeling like this will be a good idea. Do I find anybody? Not yet. Oh. Can I look around? Can I ha look around and see if there's any, like, potions on the ground or Pokeballs or anything? Yeah, use your search. Your perception. Or whatever it is, no, yeah. No, it would be investigation. Um. Hey, here's a fun thing. Um. I don't know what my perception is. Um, is it intelligence? I believe so, yes. Uh, it's either that or wisdom. For perception or investigation? Is it investigation the same? Is with, uh, investigation is, is intelligence. Perception is um, in wisdom. Fires are the same. That rolled right off my tray. That's a two. Plus one, so a three. Mm. You found some, some tall grass. I touch the grass as I continue on this way. Are you coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming along. As, um... Can pretty much can she go check check the grass before she goes running through it? 
like to see if there's Pokemon in it? Yeah. I mean, you can. So I'm guessing that would be perception. Just to check. Uh, yeah, just to see if something's there as opposed to investigating if something specific is there. Mm -hmm. I can't find my computer mouse, you guys, and I'm sad about it. Sad. I'm sorry to hear. Um, Just, oh no. Oh no. no. Uh, okay, let me just <laughs> roll it like this and see what I get. Okay, I got a 19 even before I even add the bottom. Uh, as you look out through the bush, you see it is wild grass. Pokemon almost always live in wild grass. So I'm guessing I can see anything before I walk in. But anyway, yeah, so we'll go walking through it and then. Okay, so now we continue on. Into. How do you select both of your characters, Jewel? I figured it out. Never mind. Yeah, I kind of like did that, yeah. And then we go through it, and then I go Stop. into the grass. <laughs> and uh, actually just back up right there. A wild Pokemon has appeared. Specifically, actually, two wild Pokemon have appeared. You've got yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get pictures. I might have to go with some subs. <laughs> There's just too much to look up a Pokemon picture every time I have to pull it in here. It's a lot of work for all the Pokemon we're gonna see. Mm. So instead, I'm just gonna use a, a substitute monster token. Okay, that's fair. Let's see. Uh, boop. 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 Oh, come on. We're gonna go with this one and this one, I guess, for no good reason. Uh, so a wild, uh, a lowland vulpix, and a wild. Where is it? Got it just a moment ago. I I want the lowland uh, vulpix and a wild uh, jigglypuff up here. Oh, Jigglypuff! Oh, hold on. What type is the what type is the Alolan? I, I believe Vulpix Alolan here. Vulpixes are snow, so ice. ice. Yeah. Mm. But Jigglypuff is psychic type or fairy type. Fairy. fairy. Okay, so I'll go with the Vulpix then. I want the Vulpix dibs. Even though Vulpix is like, I was like, I want that Vulpix a little bit on the inside. <laughs> you can actually, you know what? Because I'm a fire type, you can have the, you can have the Vulpix. I'll take the Jigglypuff. No, you take that one. Take it, take it. Because you're gonna. We'll see. Who, we'll see who we defeat. We'll see who we defeat. Mm -hmm. Or at least get okay. low enough to catch. So do we have to like roll initiative? Uh, you do have to roll initiative. Your Pokemon, I believe, have initiatives. If... Okay, I think I, I have that. I roughly wrote it. No, no, I did not have that on top. Uh, turn. No, I lost Fennekin's page. Shit. 83. I don't remember not what that article I lost, it's um, on. It's not that page, it's just that Probably um, this one. may have, um, did not have that. On this one, this one doesn't have 83. Uh. Well, the the one I'm looking at, you you gave the right number. I'm just on the wrong page. I just don't. I don't see an initiative roll. It might be for you then. Okay. What is initiative? How do I roll initiative? Oh my god, you guys! It would. Yeah, it generally reflects off of what your dex is. Dex. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, one sec! Shit. 
I'll be right back, guys, while you figure this out. Try to scour it. I gotta go help someone with something, apparently. No problem. No problem. In the meantime, I'll just do a quick something. So I think my initiative is a plus four. Uh, Every two, you get a plus one, so a ten. So that would be a... Yeah, yeah, that's a plus four. No. For initiative, it should reflect off of... Uh, initiative should be your dex. Your straight dex modifier. Well, and my thing is, I have a modifier plus two, but my racial bonus is also plus two. Oh, right. For to back these up, so it's added to the dex already. Uh, to the, not, not two, but it's to the, what's your ability score? The score itself. My ability score total is 15. Should be. I'm sorry, my brain is literally trying to remember that. <laughs> ability score. I can. I'm trying to remember the ability score. Ability score modifiers. Okay, there it is. Um, for 15, yeah, it's plus two, so it's a plus two. Okay. So my initiative is 14. No, your initiative score is plus 2. No, I'm aware. I rolled. It's a 14. 14 and then No, a jewel, jewel, jewel. I'm telling I'm telling you I rolled a 12. Oh, added my initiative okay. bonus and I got 14. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm like, did you get roll 14 and just needed me to add it? Sorry, sorry. Sorry. That happened. Happens. I wasn't sure. Hmm. Let's see, what do I get? I'm scared for all the good rolls I'm getting so far, and <laughs> and then that happens to me in my back. Yeah, all the good rolls. Yeah, I'll take it, even though it is a for me it would be a six. Six. Because deep, yeah, funny enough, deep nose actually do get something to their back, so which is something to wear. The autumn, <laughs> the autumn AU's um combat thing is already almost over. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Which I'll take. Which is nice. I feel like that that fighting has been going on for fucking months. I know. I love it, but like, it's so much. I know. Trust me. How do you think I feel? Yeah. I'm like, eh, I like it. I love the fact that we're at least exploring the other possibility of this being good. Instead of staying forever. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, sorry that took a minute. God damn. No, you're good. You know you're good. We're good. Um. Uh, my character got a six on their initiative. <laughs> Mine got a fourteen. There we go. So it's uh, your initiative, then I take it that they take it off of. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, let's, I'm guessing that is a thing. From what I'm. That'd probably be easiest, I think, because I don't see any any initiative rules for any initiative order for any of the Pokemon. A25. Wait, did not really. 
All right, I'm just double checking a couple things on battle and it's okay. And more no, specifically no. on catching. Yeah, no, I'm not catching should come out. Okay, I was just double checking. So you got have to make uh, initiative rolls for you and your Pokemon using your initiative bonus. Okay. That's good. That, that means we were right. Mm -hmm. Which is good, which is wonderful, because I was like... When the... It's interesting that they split you, your initiative and your Pokemon's initiative. Very interesting. I mean, certain Pokemon are faster than you, per se. True, but you would think that your Pokemon and you would act at the same time for coordination's sake, even if one of you is slower. Yeah. Let's see. But you know, the trainer is supposed to tell the Pokemon what to do, so I guess it does make sense that they go at the same time. Yeah, but they that's what I'm saying in this one they don't. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Yeah, you both get your own initiative. Well, I mean it you can make adjustments as please. It's true. So we we can go off of that and um go off of that. Really pro Oh shit, I never Oh, it's cuz I went this way. There you are, Pennykin. Anyway, uh, so what were your guys' initiative rolls? Um, 12. I, yeah, I got a... You said 14, because you had a plus 2. 14, right, sorry, I rolled a 12, got a 14, sorry. Yeah, even I screwed up. And I got a 6. So, 14, how much was Fennekin's? Well, because you make two different rolls. Oh, okay. One for you, one for your Pokemon. Roll, oh, this is Fennekin's roll. Fennekin rolled a five. What do I add to that? Pull up Fennekin. So, no, you add your stuff. It's based on your initiative. Nice. Yeah, it's oh, based uh, on your so stats. Fine. They just get a different roll. Okay, uh, what's, he got a seven. What was Turtwig's initiative? Sixteen, but from but it's plus three for that because it's based if it's based off of my initiative. Yeah, it's so based it's, off your initiative. Yeah, so it's uh, a nineteen. <laughs> Tortwig is the fastest of them all. Oh. <laughs> uh, so the order round is basically going to go Turtwig, then uh, technically Ash. And then uh, one of the enemy Pokemon, then Fennekin, then Jewel, then the last Pokemon. So, Turtwig's up first. Okay. Oh, also, you and your Pokemon have to split an action and a bonus. So, if, if Turtwig attacks... You can't attack or use a potion, etc. Same in the opposite. If you use a potion, you do both get to move. 
which is good because I'm going to be adding a little bit of D&D to this in the sense that obviously there's a field of movement here. Uh, you guys won't start in combat, basically, or, or not in combat range, so that you're not okay. immediately in danger if you retreat. Okay. Excuse me. Nice. Yeah. Good one. Well, what's considered a bonus action for Tertius? I don't know if he has any right now. Mm -mm. He only has his dirty move tackle. Yep. I think some of uh, your Pokemon can get bonus actions with like the special abilities you get uh, as you level up. Uh, that's maybe what Tertius does. He tackles. Right. Let's see. It is. So take a look at movement speed for these for these guys here for a second. Quick question. Um, my Fennekin's movement speed is. Oh, okay, I, th I thought this said two point five, and I was gonna freak out. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> So, uh, power is a strength or dex move. You have to, you can use either of those modifiers. You have 20 uses of it. Uh, duration instantaneous, me range melee. Rush forward and slam into a creature, making melee attack roll against the target doing 1d6 plus move normal damage on hit. So, it's 1d... I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this quick enough, and I'm like, okay... So I think it's actual. I gotta find the actual. So yeah, it should just be a d20 plus 1 to hit. Or actually, I don't remember Turtwig's bonuses. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm making sure I'm doing this right, because I'm going to need to remember this. <laughs> uh, but in long story short, I'm just doing it. Okay. I forget how many moves, you know, there are in the freaking universe. Oh yeah, dude. It that was like first. I, at first, I couldn't find them because they put it all the way at the end. And then, yeah. And then I was like, oh, now I actually have to find the one I'm looking for. Oh yeah. Oh there. Um. Either strength or deck. Third twig. Your strength is the higher one. <laughs> Sweet hit. Let me double check. Oh, who are you attacking? Oh, you're attacking Jigglypuff. Okay. Yeah. I believe that should be a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. So now you roll your 1d6 plus uh, your strength or dex mod, whichever you choose. Nice. Very nice. All right. <clears throat> that makes it uh, the Tabaxi's turn. Okay. So I set I set my Fennekin down. Her name is Freya, by the way, just so you're aware. I set her down because uh, I carry her. And I tell her to go up to the Vulpix, and she I tell her to scratch it when it gets to her turn. 
All righty. And that's it. Okay. All right, I'm just double checking a couple things on these characters because the other thing you should definitely take into account is the vulnerabilities and resistances because it takes into account Pokemon matchup. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's why I said, you know what? No, you pick the Vulpix. I'm <laughs> shit out of luck if I have to go deal with that Vulpix. Yeah, because I have a resistance mm -hmm. against ice. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare do this, mm -hmm. Axel. I'll give you a break for now. <laughs> for now. For now, that is the scariest part about that. Statement. For now. Well, look, this isn't a video game exactly. Like the Vulp, you you know, it's close right there. It might just go for you. Double team you. They do that in the game. They'll attack both your the same Pokemon. Fuck your shit yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, I know. I hate yeah, those. I hate those. Yeah, I but yeah, luckily, these are wild Pokemon, so I'm giving you a I'm giving you a break. Thank you. Bitches, wild. Wild, baby. Wow. Speaking of uh, wild. The wild Vulpix, the Alolan Vulpix, is, uh... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, uh, as Vulpix kind of steps up to the plate, uh, hail surrounds you, as snow warning takes effect. It's no good. Alright. I feel I should have dressed warmer. Right, give me a second, I gotta go. Find this move. Danny. Danny. There we go. All right, first things first. Let's roll this d20 and see if it even hits. Okay. Uh, does a yeah. 15 hit? Uh, yes it does. Okay. So. Oh, I could have stayed over there. Shit. Ooh, you got lucky there. Uh, you are going to take... Three damage, and then have that because you have resistance, I believe. Okay, so would that be a one or a two? A two. Okay. Okay. That's, that's the other fun part about this. There's the little differences about this that make it harder. And easier, it, in ways. Uh, but that makes it uh, Fennekin's turn. Scratch. Uh, let me get you that thing. Yeah, right. That's I was just like I'll go find it real like, quick. I'm going to get that. Uh, so you're gonna roll a d20 with either strength or dex modifying the roll. It's gonna either be either strength or dex. And it's your Pokemon's uh, strength or dex. Yeah, they're it's the same modifier. Okay, scratch. Yeah, it is not. Uh, does a 15 hit? Yes, I believe so. Let me double check. Yes. She scratches. So scratch does 1d, most likely 1d6 plus either your dex or strength modifier on hit. Okay. So that's 1d6 plus 1. Just writing that down real quick so that I know it for later. 1d6 plus 1, 4 damage. Alrighty. And that's my, that's my turn. Alrighty. Uh, that makes it, uh, technically now, it makes it Jewel's turn. But just Jewel, not Turtwig. Yeah. So how's this, um, Jigglypuff looking? Uh, so you want to kind of take a look at it? You can't really do an action since Turtwig already did an action, but you can, uh, I'll, I'll allow passive perception rolls, kind of, for, uh, to, like, see 
Or like bonus action perception rolls to see if a Pokemon's health is low. Um, what about passive? Why not use the passive? You could also use the passive. Yeah, which is How much is it? Fifty. Uh, I mean, looks fairly healthy. Mm, well, she'll just have to. What can she do as a action though? That, a bonus action though. Let me. Do that. I don't think there's much we really can do. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that. You're okay. Like I said, I don't know why they separated your guys' turns when they didn't give you separate actions available. But, as their thing, not mine. Anyway, they, now it's... They wanna, they wanna make sure that if I, if I so choose, I can pick up that Vulpix and just hold it. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Ha. Huh. All right, I gotta go find it. Ah, shit. Go to the bottom. Me and I teach you. Son of a Pokemon. It's a little annoying to try to find this one, which doesn't make sense. I think it's just missing. Is it, is it not a find? Is it not a searchable document? No, it doesn't have its own uh, directory or anything. I can search it with find, but it's seeing ends like a thousand different times in different words. So I'll just be stuck moving through it. But the problem is it should be... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I'm in the wrong section. Let's see if it goes up to the right. There we are. All right, here we are. Uh -huh. Cough. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, now I can go down and find it. It is a pain in the ass to find this one in this list. That is the only thing I'm not totally cool with on this. All right. Now you gotta remake it. I know Jewel had to step away because the phone rang. And I'm, I'm preparing my son's medicine. Did you know cats could get asthma? I uh, did not. Yeah, but my I... son has asthma. Well then. Yeah, so every other day I have to give him a quarter of a cc of steroids directly right. into his mouth. Now here is something that's funny. Mm -hmm. Who? What is your Pokemon's hit points and what are your hit points? My Pokemon's hit points are 17. My hit points are 10. Okay. Jewel? I don't think Jewel's back yet. Ah, shit. I don't need Jewel. Now, here's the question. Do I let my baby sleep? Or now that he's sleeping within arm's reach, do I give him his medicine now? Hmm. Decisions, I'll decisions. Wait. I'll wait. He's used to getting it right before bed.
Joel Beckett. Joel, Joel, hey Joel, Joel. No, no. guess not. It's <laughs> a like, guess not. Maybe this I can take this opportunity to go find Turtwig's entry. No, what I almost asked you, who presents at least as male. What about it? I almost present. I almost asked it, asked you if you had ever gotten a pap smear before. I mean, I'm just, uh, you never know. I might have. I don't know. Have you ever gotten a pap smear? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Unless I was real up and don't remember it. I have to get one on Friday, so long as I'm not on my period. Sounds, uh, awful. Yeah, I've never had one before. Me either. <laughs> Surprisingly. It's fine. People feel very comfortable with me sometimes. It's good. Well, either that or they're extremely creeped out. One of the two. Oh, shit. Yeah, all well, my bones keep cracking. Not a good feeling. Mm-mm. For a second, I couldn't tell if this was the baggie that had cheese or shrooms in it. Oh, well. I mean, hey, same, really? A little bit. At least uh, for me. This just messed me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. The cheese, then. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading something in my anthropology class about people who had lactose intolerance were people who were from a specific area in the past where they did not raise cows. Oh, I could see it. Can't remember where that area is. Nobody. But it's like the same reason, it's like the genetic uh, pre predisposition to um, sickle cell anemia, how a lot of African American people have sickle cell anemia. Um, and well, a lot of black people, I should say, have sickle cell anemia because a specific, um, uh, cell or specific gene that if it is predisposed to sickle cell gave them advantage against malaria. Hmm. And right. I was like, well, that's just cool. I mean, kind of. It's a theory. It's just a theory. It's also kind of cool. I mean, it's. It's like half and half cool. It's like, hey, no malaria. Also, hey, sickle cell. Yeah. So I just think it's cool that the anthropologists are trying to come up with these connections that that um um may not be the first thing that some some scientists think of. Yeah. There were others. I can't remember what they are though. Other things far. like that. To be fair, most scientists are intently focused on the future. That's true. And then there's like a subset of scientists that are focused on the past. Historians, archaeologists, geologists, uh, astrophysicists. 
Ain't there astrophysicists like the past? Well, duh. Like, almost all of astrophysics study is done on things that happen in the past. Well, duh. Well, duh. But oh, yeah, because the light, light takes, travels. Yep. Yeah. See, it takes years. See, if you thought about it for half a second, that's why I said that, because I know you're smart enough to know why we just talked about light the other day. <laughs> Excuse me. I do not think ever. Right, fair, I should have accounted for that. I've played D and D with you long enough now. It's, it's been about a full year at this point. Look in my eyes, man. You see no thought here. No thought. Only cats and gay. That's it behind my eyes. Has no thought with a U. Ha <laughs> ha Only thought with a yet with an O. All thought. T H O T H O T. Stop going away from my medicine. This medicine is to help you breathe, goddammit. No, come here. You need this to breathe. There you go. That wasn't so hard. You do this every other day, and then you bitch about it for hours. No thought, only thought. <laughs> you know something really funny, Axel? Hello? Sorry, yeah. Just oh, uh, some stuff. um, something really funny happened to me. Uh, I was playing Among Us on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. And um, I was on Tinder at the same time, and so like I was dead and my tasks were completed. So I was skimming through Tinder, and I pulled up this girl's Tinder page, and it said, "Oh gosh, what did it say?" Um, let me give you the exact, the exact wording of it. Because I didn't know what it meant. It was like the assembly, some series of number or some series of letters, and I was like, "Is this a new like some kind of new uh, slang term that I'm not aware of? Am I that old already?" Uh, no, it's a kink thing. Because what she said in her in her profile in her public profile on Tinder, mm -hmm. she said. Little slash A B D L. Oh, yeah. All right. And I was like, mm, I don't know what that means. So while I was on, while I was in my friend group on my voice chat, I was like, hey, who knows what little slash A B D L is? L is. And they're like, uh, no idea. <laughs> so one of my friends Googled it while I was continuing to hit on girls on Tinder. And in me, she's like, uh, uh Ashley. Honey, it means adult baby diaper lover. Mayhaps, maybe, maybe consider consider that they wear diaper. And I'm like, oh, oh, I see. Oh. Yes, welcome to the world of kinks. Hey, no, I don't mind kinks. I don't mind kinks. Uh, that's not my kink. That's not my kink. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, that's not my kink. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was just like, yeah, people are uh get crazy. Yeah. I have no room to judge, so I, I don't say anything. Yeah, it's like whatever you want to do. That's not my thing. Yeah, it's not like I can spit out my ball gag and go, that's deplorable. <laughs> Drop like the fucking rope and be like, that is disgusting. You should be ashamed. Pulls off horse costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is one of those things where I'm just like, yeah, I mean, what you do in the privacy of your own home is your business. That's up to you. If you want to be a crazy person or you have things that are non standard that it, you enjoy. That's the place to do it. Yeah. I was just surprised she put it on her public Tinder profile. Well, if it's a big part of what your life is about, then, you know, you gotta be upfront about it, or... I don't know. That is fair. It's a rough time sometimes, okay? I don't know. Yeah. I still uh, keep expecting Michael to just, like, pop in here randomly. That would be really funny. He's like, what's up, guys? I'd be like, where are you? 
<laughs> I booed you so hard. Oh. This, oh, okay, that's what it is. Uh, great. No worries. Uh, I needed to ask, what is your health and what is Turtwig's health? Um, my HP is is a solid three. You have oh, three. No. You have no, 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 no. And that's all right. I don't think I ever added the class shit. So <laughs> let me go and do that quick. Let me do that quick because I apparently did not do that. Because I'm like, where did you even get three health? Because it's 1d8 plus your constitution modifier, and usually you re-roll re re -roll ones, right? Mm-mm. That's a house roll, you're right. Usually, at least in the uh, original D&D uh, &D rules first level, you just get max points. Oh! I'm sorry about that for a second. <laughs> Things happen. No problem. Oh boy. Had to go do something quick, almost similar to the whole actually had to be right back five seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see a tweet here. While you're looking that up, Joel. Donald Trump has been bullying science for the last seven months. Well, he's about to get his ass handed to him by science's older brother. Math. <laughs> yeah. They right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You there's you can misinterpret science. Math never lies. Yeah, yeah. If there is one constant in this universe, it is math. In my bad eleven. That's uh, the traitor to HP. Yes. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second, Axel. Yeah. Axel, question. Mm -hmm. If math is universal, but our counting system is based on tens because we have ten fingers, is it really universal? Counting systems are actually based on tens because it's the most consistent power of mathematical exposition. You can put also, anything to the power of 10 an infinite number of times, and it will condense math in an uh, appreciated form. It's also naturally, to the power of 10 is how things in the natural world tend to expediate. So, for example, like, I don't know if you've ever see, seen the meme of, like, America uses feet, and 12 feet equals 1 foot equals 250 miles, whereas in kilometers a hundred liters is the say is what a kilogram of mass energy is necessary to do in one you know what i mean it's all divvied mm -hmm. out exactly perfectly the power of 10 just works well all right then and what? here i thought it was because we had 10 fingers no not at all the the power of 10 if you look it up or to the reason the metric system works off the power of 10 is that's how much energy it takes to, I can't remember what element it runs off of, but heat up one mole of this specific element using one, you know what I mean? It's all metriced out very precisely and works super well. It's just, the it's it was, a, it's, it's so funny too, because guess who gave us that system? I'm going to go on a limb and say England, the Europeans, for 20 it, bucks. Any other guesses? Einstein. Nope. Napoleon. Galileo. Oh, good Napoleon? Mm-hmm. France. Isn't a scientist? No. I... But he requisitioned the creation of a new system of mathematics in France. Okay, well. Like I said, Europeans. <laughs> you said English to start with. You went wider after that. 
Yeah. I'm like, okay, no, no, I'm not, I know I have been. <laughs> but uh, so if you guys, I'm good. I'm so, good. Go ahead. Uh, and I might be getting some of the facts wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that there it was right around the time of the French Revolution and the subsequent years after during Napoleon's time that they had invented the metric. I could be wrong. I usually am. Anyway, you guys both have 11 health, right? And yeah. Why do you have 11? Why do you have 11? Uh, oh, because your constitution modifier, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, unfortunately for you, Jigglypuff just used Sing. No. And no. in the game, Sing is not a single target move. It is an area of effect, much very similar to a spell we all know and love that puts people to sleep based on hit points. Oh, funsies. So, uh, you two both pass out because you have less health than your Pokemon. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to freaking gosh. I'm starting to think there's a running gag joke that I thought was funny in the anime. Now it's happening to us. I swear to God, if we wake up and this jiggly film starts writing on our face, I'm fucking done. I'm, gonna uh, undone. I'm like, right now I'm split on what your Pokemon should do while you're passed out. I'm like, do they continue doing what they were last told to do, like machines? Or do they have to, like, wait for more instruction? I mean, yeah. talk with my Pokemon every day, if that helps, with, 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 with my psychic ability. With my psychic ability. No, literally. I no, I know you have the tell. I know. I just thought it's so funny. I think I'm going to just have them continue using whatever move you last instructed them to use. Okay. I mean, considering that they do have a decent, uh, I mean, decent intelligence. I mean. Yeah, they're smart. They're not dumb. Yeah, I'm not. How, how, what's, uh, what is it? Like a nine? Ten? Negative two? Oh, no, 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 That's no, still no. intelligent. Yeah, Roughly. Yeah. People get those kinds of scores. Oh, that's fucking my score if I ever heard, first saw it. <laughs> I like how you any, people get Anyway, uh, that ends Jigglypuff's turn. I say, no, Jigglypuff, I should have seen it coming. I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, uh, which makes it Turtwig's turn. Oh, for the love of Pete's sake, please help the Turtwig actually hit. Oh, also you roll with disadvantage this round. Because of Jigglypuff's uh, hidden ability or whatever. Okay. It didn't use it last time, unfortunately. Because <laughs> it's not smart. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. There it is. Um, seven? <coughs> seven. Is that seven? That seven does not hit, does it? No, seven doesn't hit. Unfortunately. Uh, which, skipping the sleeping people's turn, actually, how do you even wake up from sleeping? Wait a minute, can I just go see that skill for a bit? Please tell me, let me see this skill. Of course it sings. Of course, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a jiggly puppet if it didn't do it at least once. Yeah, it's actually one of its only moves. It's that in defense curl. <laughs> for a level one jiggly puff. Uh, so, yeah, and it's a you sing a beautiful song in an attempt to put creatures to sleep. Roll five d eight. The total is how many hit points the creatures this move can affect within thirty feet, in ascending order of their current hit points, starting with the creature who has the lowest hit points. Which, which is us. Because even after taking damage, both of those Pokemon have more health than you currently. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> Yeah, Turtwig especially has more HP than my candy. Oh, yeah. That's why I was saying, like, when you look at it, it's like, you think, oh, like, they may be... No, those motherfuckers got a full hit dice on you. <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be the typical, like, every fight, this is gonna be the thing. It's just like, run away from the Jigglypuff! Run! Run away! Just start screaming. I can't hear you saying... <laughs> We will, we will rock you. Son of a gun, what do we do for it now? I need to see what the hell. I, uh, I don't even know how you wake up from sleep. I think you have to, like, be awoken. 
usually. Well, my Fennekin would do one of would might do one of two things: either lay on top of me or lay beside me, because she she does not go in a pokeball. She's too special for that. I'm not even surprised. This is a, a, I'm not even mad. I am not even mad. I'm laughing. <laughs> Is it my turn? Or is it? Uh, ye currently, ye yeah, Finnegan's turn. Okay. Oh no, actually, sorry. It's uh, it's actually the uh, the Alolan uh, Vulpix's turn. Okay. Because it goes in between. Right before Finnegan. Okay. Uh. All right, it's gonna do this and retreat, so it provokes an attack of opportunity from you. I swear to God that it has to be cracking up. Of course. It does the one thing that we all have expected to do, but do we really want to do it? So that's an 18 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, and then a d6. Seven hit, or seven uh, points. Seven points? Mm-hmm. All righty. And... Oh no, if I'm not awake, I can't throw a Pokeball. Nope. Aww. It was the side effect of this that I thought was hilarious. That's sad. Yeah, no. they're just gonna murder these Pokemon. Uh, also, now that your turn is over and you didn't take it into account, you gotta... Oh, wait, no, you have Scratch, that's right. So you're not actually hitting them for a ton. Like no. you would if you were using... And then once it's over here, it uses Powder Snow again. What it's does a, that do? Uh... Well, let's see if I hit first. Let me get you nope. thing for powder. I missed. So let me get you powdered snow. Let me see where it's out. Okay. I mean I it just it. it just hits for snow damage and has a chance to inflict frozen, but Okay. Yeah. But I yeah, missed, I so it, it doesn't really it. Now it's Fennekin's turn. Chase it. Alright. Oops. Goes right there, and it scratches again. All right, roll your attack. Attack. Uh, thirteen. I believe that is a hit. Okay. Two damage. Two damage. All righty. And that's it. Okay. Uh, that makes it a Jigglypuff's turn. And Jigglypuff is going to use Sing because it has no other moves. It's all it can do. It's literally all it can do. Anakin is getting, or that, uh, that, uh, Vulpix is getting low on health. It might pass out too. It could. It very well could pass out. It actually would probably be the first to pass out at this point, since you two are both sleeping. I'm willing to take that chance, though. Also, Go for it. Also, this, uh... This Jigglypuff don't give a fuck! Alright. Damn, this, this Jigglypuff is savage. It is savage. Uh, so, how much health are the two Pokemon currently at? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, my Pokemon? Yeah, your Pokemon. Hers is at 15. What's yours at? Mine's... Did it get hit at any time? I don't think so, because Jigglypuff did. doesn't have an attack move. Yeah, okay, so it's still at 18. Okay, in which case, uh, both the Vulpix and Fennec can pass out. Oh. There's got to be a way to wake up from this. Please tell me there's a way to wake up from this. Please 
tell me there is. <laughs> it has. It doesn't say that you have to like wake them up, just like in the real game. I guess we could do like a chance every round to wake up. But that's basically all it is in the game, unless you use an awaken. There's no guarantee you ever wake up. And even in the game, technically the trainers don't fall asleep. Only the Pokemon. We. Play. Yep. We so could make it. It's so. Funny. We could make it. We could make it so that it, it just lasts an amount of time, like, think, the, like the sleep spell in D and D. I think that's probably the best thing to do for it. I'll roll. I don't know a D four. Yeah, that sounds right. Four rounds. Okay. Cool. So we'll say four rounds. That means you guys have had a round now where you're asleep. You got three left. Unless something wakes you up. Now these two are also asleep, which means it's just Turtwig and Jigglypuff. <laughs> I can't. I am fucking <laughs> Jigglypuff's just gonna put everyone to sleep, draw on everyone's faces and peace the fuck out. <laughs> I'm down if it does that. I, 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 if it puts you all to sleep, I'm making it do it. I should make Wonderful. it beat the shit out of you guys while you're asleep, but it has no attack moves! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck no. Alright, um... Yeah. <laughs> the imagery is now stuck in my head, and now we have a nostalgia run here. <laughs> you know, I literally just randomly picked those two Pokemon, because I saw them while I was, like scrolling madly through the list of Pokemon trying to find things. I was like, alright, this one, this one. They're both the right level. Throw them in. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Alright, it is Turtwig's turn. Is it with still disadvantage or the, the, <laughs> we're good? Uh, you're not with disadvantage. It was just a one time. It can only use it once per long rest. Well then! So, um, how do you want this to go for the fail? Do we do we do damage? Do we do like I don't even know what to do here. A trip, just a, a literal. <laughs> a little trip. All right, I guess that means you're prone and your your dex bonus for your armor is down or something. I don't know. You fell down. That's it. That's that's what happened. And now Jigglypuff's gonna use Sing again. It is not getting. <laughs> It keeps getting close. If you're the only one still awake, it's gonna get you. Most likely. Here's my question. Does it reset our timers for the three, four sleep people? Uh, what do you mean? When when Jigglypuff sings each time, does it reset our no, you're, turn? No, no, no. You're already sleeping, so it does. Okay. It's, yeah. No, okay. it doesn't do that. Holy shit! Oh fuck! You're so fucked. For the love of all that's dignified. I I I was rolling fairly low every other time, like twenty something, eighteen or nineteen. I rolled fucking thirty. Nice. Everyone's. No, that is not nice. Think about that. It's so funny though. Please don't you dare do it. Come on. I'm sorry. You're asleep. Time passes. Wake up with our all of our faces drawn on. I am not liable. That's hysterical. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. It, it. Uh, you wake up in the field. Hey now. Hey now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Alolan Vulpix was sleeping on the same turn as my Fennekin, so I should wake up before my Fennekin. Uh, that's true. Here, let me let me yeah. bring back the. I can't bring it back. All right, there we go. Oh, so. All right, it is as now your as, turn. As soon as I wake, I pick up the Vulpix. Okay. And I use the Pokeball on it. Because right. it's asleep. Alrighty, so let's go to the catching metrics. So, catch Pokemon, you have to hit a DC. Okay. The DC is 10 plus the Pokemon's base level plus their remaining HP uh, divided by 10 rounded down. But it's asleep. Yeah, that doesn't matter. What? People think it matters in the game as well, but it actually doesn't usually go. Oh, no, sorry. You do have advantage on the throw. Yeah. 
So you have advantage to try to catch this one. Okay. 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 What's my what's my um what's my number that I have to hit? Uh well you don't know. You don't know it's HP. I don't, I don't know, but you know. Yeah, I do. I do know. Um uh... I wake up to in the meantime for goodness sake well i mean you wake up and you see your pokemon you know asleep in the field facing the other way same with 19 19 that is a catch you now have a alolan vulpix level one that, we'll share it that's uh that's also the thing is these are i believe both level ones So, I am immediately, I am, you see us all, you see the Pokemon asleep, but us two awake, right? Yeah. And so, I just caught the Vulpix, and I immediately take it back out of the Pokeball, back into my arms. Oh, actually, give me a sec, I need to check where the, because of where the Jigglypuff's at in the order, things will happen in a specific order, and people will wake up in a specific order. Oh. E. So, for example, it went down from their turn at the end, went one turn between each of you, so you both had a full round start on everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that you'll both go her first, then you'll, then tur Twig, then Finnegan. I swear to gosh, can we at least get a hint of what just happened? I mean, you're gonna have to figure it out, I mean. Do I already know what it is out of character? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm done on the inside. <laughs> I refuse to accept it. It's fake news. They need to recount the lines. <laughs> you see my character petting the Vulpix that is still asleep. Well, it's in in a it's, it should be in a Pokeball now. I took it out of the Pokeball immediately after I caught it. All right, it is still asleep. Uh, can, can do I look over at my friend over here that is happily enjoying her Vulpix? What the hell do I think? Well, technically, when she went up there, she would have been facing the Vulpix to pick it up, so she'd kind of be True. facing away from you. So do I? Do I hear your your confused noises, Jewel? Um, It's you caught your Vulpix. I turn around. To look at her. Did the Jigglypuff draw on her face? Well... <laughs> I mean, maybe. It's a possibility. You know, it might have... It might have drawn on your face. It might have, like... Done something else. Son of a gun, what did it do? Because I'm confused. It, uh, it, it could have done whatever it wanted. What did it do? Well, this is weird. This is getting weird. It, I've it, seen it, enough hentai to know where that went. Wh what? You guys watch what? too much hentai. <laughs> <laughs> And what happened to us? So did we get robbed? Am I robbed? So, uh, we'll we'll do this within order of like action. Since Ashley turns around, she's the first one, and she has advantage. She is the first one to see what's going on, and she looks over at Jewel and sees this. Uh, very nice. Well, you know, it's just basics. It's, it's not the whole thing. And meanwhile, uh, as she turns around, Jules' character sees this. Uh, my character just looks down and like say, "Um, I think we got bamboozled by a Jigglypuff of all things." Does the Vulpix have drawing on it? Yeah, it does. So do the Pokemon. <gasps> uh, uh. 
I look at my Finnegan and I look at the Vulpix. Do they look cute? They do look cute. Oh, you look so cute! <laughs> what, for, what about me? Because mine wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. It got stars on it. Cloak, you look so cute too. You're adorable. What was it for the Turtwig? Turtwig looks like this. <laughs> I mean, that's not that bad. Not bad. I'm trying not to laugh my ass. <laughs> it gave him a yarmulke. I mean, nice. I mean, considering the top of its head has like a little sapling uh, vibe to it, I'm not surprised. Wait. Is this one Finnegan? <laughs> nice. He's got a little mustache! Oh gosh. I'm, I'm enjoying the living crap out of this. And we're just but anyway, yeah, no. Um, my character does explain to you, you have something on your um face. Probably. That's okay. Those Jigglypuffs are so tricksy. Yeah, but at least you got your Vulpix. What's the deal with that? And share the Vulpix. No, 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 that's your Vulpix. That's right, that Jigglypuff would have been a problem to have. Why? <laughs> every, <laughs> just every fight, just... <laughs> I mean, you can always be the smartass. And get an EX uh, and have it on the Jigglypuff. That's true, but then you still can't fight with it because you'll pass out just like Jigglypuff. Pat, make me, make us pass out and then kill it. Nothing lives. Everything burns. But yes, yeah, so uh, I mean, congratulations, you you caught a Fennekin. Uh, a oh yeah, Vulpix. sorry, a full Vulpix, which gives you. Shit, where is it? But I never thought I would be laughing. Oh, no, this shit is hilarious. I'm glad this is this is why this is a good thing this doesn't happen in the game. Yeah. Because I swear to God. Well, it's like the whole, like you said, it's the whole disconnect between the game and the anime that's now in this game, where it's just like, yeah, everyone's vulnerable to Jiggy, Jigglypuff. What do you mean? Pass the hell out. <laughs> That's why no one uses Jigglypuff as a Pokemon in there, in the, you know, in the show. You poor Lord, but you tried, and, but anyway, yeah. My character does go and, um, picks up, uh, Church Wake and just says, you guys are bad. I'm a thousand percent sitting on the ground with my Fennekin in my lap and my Vulpix in my arms. And I'm petting them. And, uh, meanwhile, um, Loki just making sure to get all the, um, drawings off of us, at least we, Turtw uh, the Turtwig and myself, because, gosh, that sucks. Oh, what they're drawn with? I can bet you 30 bucks is a marker that would just be posing as the, uh, mic. The... <laughs> they just drew on us with Sharpie. If it was a Sharpie, I would have been done on the inside. I've always wondered if it was a Sharpie or just that she is a nice, decent um, marker. One of those easy-to-wash-off markers. I assumed it was a Sharpie. Son of a bitch, if that's a Sharpie, that's a bitch <laughs> It's so that hard. That's a bitch to get off. It's what so hard. Fun? So please, let's not make it that. <laughs> <laughs> let's make it a Sharpie. It's a Sharpie. If it's a Sharpie, I am mentally done on the inside. <laughs> you just see my character just like, okay, this should come off. Oh, no, it isn't. Son of a gun. Or go with the flow. This character is much more go with the flow. So she says, she says, I really hope. I, I say this to my to my Fennekin as I pet its its Sharpie marks. I say, I really hope this isn't bad for your fur. Is it bad for their fur? Can I tell? I don't know, actually. Hmm. 
We'll get you checked out soon. <laughs> and when uh, my character looks over at her and says, I think we, that is a bigger problem. That is a very big problem. And I would love to find that Jigglypuff again. For goodness sake, and give it a piece of my mind. How long have we been out? How long, yeah, that is a good question. How long have we been out? Like, we know it, but our characters don't. It's true. Uh, you know, you, it probably, I mean, a couple turns, you know, you've probably been out for a few minutes. Not been, like, hours or anything. Good. You can go try to find it, but it, I don't think it'll end very well. If I'm being completely honest, I can't see that ending well for us. <laughs> She's like, well, um, can you make me shiv, um, earplugs for goodness sake? That's good Do you have earplugs? I wonder, can she make makeshift ones? Because she's just like, <laughs> after that, she didn't think of Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. This is great. Can't she make fake ear can't she make earplugs? Yeah, that is the best joke. Axel? I mean Yeah, I guess. Gotta remember to put them in. <laughs> Every time you oh, fight yeah. a random jigglypuff with whenever it shows up. That is good. If you put a bunch of jigglypuffs in front of this, I am done on the inside. Um, I would like, if I may, to use an ability. Now that I've caught, in, caught my new Vulpix, uh -huh. I'm going to use my Psychic ability. I gain the ability to target one of my own Pokemon with the telep Telepathy spell once per day, ignoring components. Okay. So I want to talk to my Vulpix if it's awake. All right. How long does a telepathy spell last? I don't have it up on my computer. Mm, I don't know. Probably like an hour. I'll double check. Um, telepathy. Let me see. Um, twenty-four hours. Oh wow! Nice. Wait. Then what's nice. the point of doing it one time a day? I guess you only can... one of my Pokemon. So you just can talk to one of your Pokemon a day at a time. How hurt are the other Pokemon when you choose not to talk to them? I ex I explain it to them that I love all of them equally. Except for Rod, he only gets Sundays next. No, <laughs> I love all of them equally, and it's a rotating a rotating thing between all my Pokemon. So I I pet Vulpix, uh, sorry I pet uh, uh, Fennekin, and I say I'll talk to you tomorrow, darling. And then I say telepathy with with my Vulpix. Alrighty, so uh, you you can now talk with your Vulpix. I say, I say hello, darling. What's your name? Chad. Nice. So it's a boy Vulpix. Yes. Named Chad. Do you want to stay outside of a Pokeball, or do you want to be in a Pokeball? Well, I want to be in a hospital. <laughs> See, I'm... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have much HP, does it? <laughs> yeah, you do realize this now. Dad. You just beat it up, like, five yeah, minutes yeah. ago. Now you're talking to your <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, what if I just make all of your Pokemon's characters just like free us? We used to be good, master. <laughs> Sorry, so fucked up. Anyway, what else did you want to say to your poor injured Vulpix? I'll say, I'll say to my Vulpix, it's okay, I won't put you in any fights until we get you to the doctor. Sweet. And I continue petting it, and then I get up. And continue to pet it, and we and we walk. All right. Whoa, where's my character? I think I may have accidentally deleted some stuff. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it back right now. Eh. 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 There we go. There's that one. Ah, oh, wrong line. I'm so big. That Finnegan is huge. Mutant, <laughs> mutant Finnegans everywhere. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Do I have any like berries or food or anything? You do have a potion. I have a potion, but I don't want to use it yet. Yeah, that's all. That's all you got right now. I mean, wait, but don't you? Uh, depending on the pack that uh, the um, pack that you start with, doesn't it come with food like rations? Oh yeah, but. Oh yeah. yeah. And it does. I think it does do something. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't remember the exact ones. I don't think it gives anything healing wise. No, I just want to give some of my food to my Vulpix. Yeah, you should have some food. Probably in a water skin or something in your traveler's pack. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give some I give I offer some of the rations to my Vulpix. Yeah, uh, it eats it happily. Nice. Then... And then I continue to pet it and we walk away. Alrighty, so we're going through the grass, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have the ability to move any of my characters. But that's okay. Yeah, I uh I unfortunately took that ability away from you. That's okay. I don't deserve it. <laughs> I don't deserve no better than living with the shoes. <laughs> but I, we continue to walk along Route 1. Alright, I have now given you the ability to move your characters. Yay. Well, also taking your ability to love. No, I'm just kidding. Oh god, no. You can never take that from me. Tell that to what? The love police. I like how they have merged into one person. Oh wait, Who? no, never mind. Yeah. yeah, I had, I wasn't, I didn't move the book at the same time. How lazy! So, uh, what are we, what are we doing here? What are those things in front of us? Those are people. Hi. So you're talking to him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nope. I'm trying to move me to a good spot. So it's initiative again. Yeah. I am the duck dice, and my Fennekin is the other dice. Fennekin rolled a 20, plus my initiative of 2, so that is a 22. And I rolled a 15 plus 2, 17. So a 17 and a what? 22. 17, 22. And 20 for Jewel. What about for Turtwig? Uh, 16. Alrighty. And let's see about these guys. All right, cool. Good to know. So, uh, you know, you're stopped as you talk to these trainers. They say, hey, what are you doing here on the route? Want to have a Pokemon battle? You better, because I'm from beating your ass. <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. I see, I see us winning in the future. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, so uh, Pokemon Bug Trainer Big Knees Bob sends out Wurmple. 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 Who conveniently shares a model with Jigglypuff. My God. 
It's Jigglypuff again. Everybody run. Uh, the other guy sends out a Psyduck. What's the other guy's name? Uh, his name is the trainer with no name. Oh. Yeah. And it takes all the fun out of giving him birthday cards. Hmm. Right, and a rat for no reason. Roy. So the Psyduck is against me? I mean, it, technically they can go against anybody, but yeah. Oh, fair. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, it is your turn first, then Jules, then uh, one of the enemy trainers, then Turtwig, then Finnick, then the rest of the enemy Pokemon. Enemy Finnick got a higher, a higher initiative than me. Oh, sorry. So they had the 22? Yeah. Okay. And I had the 23, remember? Oh, you had the 23? Oh, yeah. That's why it was on there. That's why I corrected it. And this is 17. All right, let's switch those back. So will the Fennekin just wait for me to tell it what to do? See, this is why I don't like this. I don't know who designed this. It was a bad idea. It just doesn't Let's make change. sense. Yeah, we're just going to carry you guys up. So we'll do... To the highest or lowest initiative? We'll do highest this time. Nice. And then we'll just replace it with the pictures of the Pokemon. Okay. So it goes Turtwig, then Fennekin, then the enemies. Wait, how much XP did we get from the last uh, last game? Hey, look, somebody has. I was waiting. That's somebody a, learned. They're learning. Yeah, I was like, okay, I was going to wait for someone to say it, because if I say it, keep saying, we're getting it up, I'm going to start feeling like I'm the only one that's paying attention. It's like I, mean, I, you are. I I just let the the them function the same. If you don't say your like resistance or bonus damage, I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> In a world where you don't notice what's going on, it doesn't happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, you should have gotten, I believe, a hundred experience for that. Uh, unfortunately, only the person who fought the oh no, that's right, you caught Finnegan, so you actually only got twenty experience for that. Oh, okay. I caught Vulpix. So oh, sorry. Twenty. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I keep mixing them up because they're both foxes. It's true. I mean, she is going for a foxy uh, play group. <laughs> technically, psychic play. Technically. Yeah, no. Foxes. Her. Foxes just happen to to coincide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's <racist. laughs> and that's not enough to uh, uh, level, is it? No. No, not not, okay. not enough, unfortunately. Mm -mm. I know, okay. no, no, but I know the joke. I have oh, women. How am I racist either? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't I know, judge I mean, you. I, I know, but I've heard some things that I heard some sad. <laughs> so what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> it's your turn, though. Bug type, right? Axel? Yes, he's a bug type. Both are bug types, or just one of them are bug types? Uh, Wurmple's a bug type. Psyduck is water type, I believe. Water psychic. No, just water. Okay, then, uh. I just, I had not left the class. <laughs> So, Turtwig is going to do tackle onto the, um, side duck. Okay. So, he'll have to move up to attack, because that is a melee range move. And side duck, yeah, is that one. Yeah, no. Just making sure I'm getting there. A Psyduck and what other Pokemon is it? Uh, Wurmple. Wurmple. Pretty much a bug type and a water type that we're supposed to know. 
Okay. Axel? Alright, one more time. Does the 11 hit? No. No, the 11 misses, unfortunately. Um, Double okay. check, but yeah. For whatever reason, they basically gave all the Pokemon the same armor class. Almost. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Anyway, yeah, yeah. that one unfortunately missed, which makes it Finnegan's turn. Here's a fun question. Um... Are any of the uh, are any of either of those other Pokemon holding an item? You wouldn't be able to tell. Hmm. Okay. Um. Then I'm gonna go up to the bug type as well, and go for a scratch. And if they are holding an item, I have a fun hidden ability. Alrighty. Well, go ahead and move into position to attack. Okay. Oh, not both of us. Come on. Just you. And I scratch it. Oh, rolled right off my game board again. That is a 12 plus 1, so 13. That is a hit. Okay. And that is a D6 plus 1. Indeed. 5. Alright, 5. I have no resistances, though. Where the hell did I leave this? There we go. And you went, you guys were fighting Psyduck, yes? Yes, okay. I'm fighting the bug. Oh, you're fighting the bug. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing, but I'm fighting the bug. Okay, let me double check then, because Wurmple might have more armor. Okay, no. Yeah, actually, that is a hit on her. Um, Two. I'm dealing with the Psyduck, and Psyduck is a water type. It is indeed. So Finnegan is going to catch a little bit of trouble if it does have a water move. Oh, a little. oh wait, wait, that's what? right. I'm supposed to give it another hit dice, which is. I'm fighting. 19. I'm fighting. The Finnegan is fighting the bug. Yeah, and I'm dealing with the Psyduck, which is okay. the water type. Yes, that's why I'm fighting the bug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys are both level one still, yeah? Mm hmm Just make it sure. Right. You know what? No, I'm actually level five. Lies! I would never lie to you, Axel. That that self is a lie. Axel, how dare? I would never lie. Like this dares. Okay, so the Wurmple is going to climb up this tree. So it's going to take an attack of opportunity. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just making sure. Okay, so I, I get an attack of opportunity then? Yep. Okay. Whoop. Uh, that's not going to hit. That's a 7 plus 1, so 8. 8. Alrighty. That did not hit. Yeah, no. <laughs> I had to double check, but I was pretty sure. Yeah. So now Wormple, now Wormple is 20 feet up this tree. Do foxes bark? Uh, I know they're kind of dog-like. I think they can. They technically can, yeah. Sounds weird. That's what Fennekin does. That's funny. Standing at the base of the tree and barking. <laughs> That's an image. I'm sorry, but an image. Yeah, I know, right? It's so fun. Just one you never thought you'd see. Oh, no, no, that one I wouldn't. I was not even. I was thrown off for. I didn't miss that. Before. That's my turn. Alright, uh, it is going to use String Shot on you. <gasps> no. My IC is 13. Ha! I rolled 13. Oh man. So it was technically more than 13 with the bonuses, but yeah. 
Ah, oh, beans. Uh, so what happens is you now uh, have your speed reduced to 10 for the next minute. Or, sorry, reduced by 10 for the next minute. Okay. Uh, you can attempt to get rid of it with a strength check uh, against your move DC, etc. But uh, that takes an action. Okay. Uh, after that, it is going to be uh, the Psyduck's turn. See what he wants to do here. Pretty good. <clears throat> so uh, Psyduck is going to go ahead and use Water Gun. I'm guessing on me or her? On her. These ones have trainers to give them instructions. Oh, shit. I thought you were going to go straight across to that finnegan to that did that wormful because that this is what i was worried about to be fair water gun is a ranged attack so yeah that that's the other thing they've added is like range and movement so there is that like the wormful is up in a tree so unless either of you have a distance move <laughs> i literally don't even know what you're gonna do to the wormful <laughs> But uh, for now, uh, it's going to try, the, the side is going to try to attack Finnegan. Ah, you lucked out, it missed. Mm -hmm. So now it is back to Turtwig's turn. But water does, water does splash at Finnegan's feet, and he gets very upset about, she gets very upset about that. Good to know. But anyway, Turtwig's turn. Um, definitely going to do some more attacks. Turtwig is not having a good day. Fennekin? Uh, Fennekin is now going to leave the Wurmple and go to the Psyduck and attack with a scratch. Alrighty. Of a 13 plus 1 is 14. Alrighty. That's a hit. And that's six damage. Ooh, nice. And then the the Fennec the Fennec is going to hiss at Psyduck. Or oh. growl, whatever a fox does. Alright, that makes it Wurmple's turn, and it's gonna use string shot again. On who? On you. Luckily for you <laughs> it, luckily for you it missed. So no worries. Everybody going after my Fennekin. Well, uh uh the survival of the fittest. I don't know. Um, She's baby. Okay. All right. I was looking for this. All right. So. We're going to use water gun again. Let's just double check in. And miss again. She's, so, she's, turn. Just, so, she's just so flippy. That is all he's trying to do it at a close range. Yeah, I get disadvantage with it. Ah, uh, nice. There's that too. But it is now Turtwig's turn again. Gonna keep trying to hit. He's just like, come on. I believe in the church wig. <laughs> there you go. That's a hit. Great. 
Oh, shit. I, I didn't notice that, but oh well. You missed what? it anyway. Uh, Wormple can't be the target of an attack of opportunity. Oh, they missed. Indeed. Indeed. Uh... But three. Three damage. Mm -hmm. So we are down to that. Alrighty. Oh, and it's another quick. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's your turn. That's all I was gonna say. I have, I have another quick question. Um, because of my hidden ability of magician, if is 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 scratch a melee attack? Yes. So I'm gonna steal an item if I can. Okay. And I'm gonna scratch the side deck again. That is a twelve plus one of a thirteen. That is a hit. For another six damage. Ooh, nice. In some good rolls. All right, that makes it Psyduck's turn, and it is going to use confusion on Fennekin. No. Oh wait, sorry. No, it's Wormple's turn first. I didn't forget about you, Wormple. Wormple descends ten feet down so that it's now only ten feet in the air. And it is going to string shot. And miss. Not having a good rolls today. And now Psyduck's going to try to use confusion. And miss. Oh, nice. I cannot roll for shit today. I'm making it like the Pokemon game where everybody on Route 1 is super easy. Right? Uh, so that makes it Turtwig's turn again. As Turtwig's luck finally turned around. Oh my gosh. You're like the announcer from the the battle, you know, the revolutionary game that they had on the Wii. Ooh, not quite enough. Fennekin, finish it off. Scratch. Not with the two. Three. Not with the three total. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that, uh, which means Wurmple's going to try to string shot again. Also, very important to count how many times you're using these moves. You do have a 20 move yeah. limit. Yeah, right now I'm at seven. All right, Wurmple hit with string shot. No. Yep, so your speed is reduced by another 10 feet. Currently, you're at a total of 20 feet reduced. Well, no, 25. Well, that's that's your original speed, right? Yeah, so my original speed was... 25, right? 25, yeah. And so then it was reduced, reduced by 10, reduced by another 10. Yeah, so now you're at 5. 5 feet. Poor thing. Oh, okay. What, uh, did, I miss? what did I miss? Uh, my, another string my shot. Is, my Fennekin's at the center of a bukkake and they don't like it. And then we're going to go ahead and roll for another confusion. And Sido can't hit shit. All right, Turtwig, your turn. Jewel? Oh. All yeah, right, yeah. Fennekin, your turn. I'm going to strength check out of these string shots. What do I have to make it? Uh, Let me double check. Uh, also, you can only do one of them at a time. Oh, so I only I have to do two strength checks to get out of my out of my. I believe I believe so, but I gotta double check. Okay. Sixteen plus my Pokemon strength one, so seventeen total. Okay, go look at the DC. Cause this is a whole different fucking. Trying to double check these is a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Let me go double check one more time, and I should know what the DC is. I think you beat it, but. Yeah, you beat it, so and you are able to get rid of all the string at once. But it does take your Yay. turn. And now it's okay. uh, Wormple's turn again, and it's going to use String Shot! And it hits you again. <clears throat> and now Psyduck is going to uh, try to use Scratch. Ah, finally! It's going to stretch Turtwig with a 15. Not damage, but, you know, hit. And let me see. Let me see. Um okay, yeah. Let me see how much damage it does. That's probably the same as my last one. Oop. Oh nice. Yep. So that should be seven damage to Turtwig. Um Okay. Seven damage. And then it is Turtwig's turn. Okay. Let me just uh, backspace. It wasn't a crit, right? No, no crit. Okay. Just asking. No, I know you're immune to crit damage. Uh, does a 15 hit? Yes. Okay. A 7! Yes. Alright, and you hit the Psyduck and it, it goes down and faints and has to return to its Pokeball. Hooray. And now it's Fennekin's turn, covered in its sticky Bukake. No. Oh. Ah. Um, okay, so my movement is now down to 15. Yep. Okay. And I'm five feet away from the base of the tree? Uh, yes. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sprint at the tree. Climb it, grab the thing, the wormple, with my full movement, and drag it to the ground. All right, well, there's going to be quite a few rolls involved with this. You're going to have to make a climb check since you don't have climbing speed. Okay. And that's just a d20 plus something? Uh, I don't know if you have any bonuses for that. I guess dexterity? Dexterity. I do have a dex bonus of plus one. So that that'll 16? be all right. So you're able to climb up the the ten feet of the tree that you need to get up. Okay. Now you have to try to attack and grab the wormhole, and then you're gonna have to strength check to drag it down. Okay. I'm going to attack it. What do I add to my roll? Uh, just a basic modifier, I guess. Your strength, since you're just doing a bite, I assume. Yeah, dirty twenty. Alrighty, that should be good. Now you have to strength check to pull it down. Which is a plus one. Four. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me roll. Maybe I roll a one. Nope, fourteen. So now, instead of dragging the wormhole, you are hanging in midair, defenseless. <laughs> And it's the Wormple's turn. So, since you're actually in range for once, it's going to use an attack move instead. Well, now, how can it do that if I'm connected to its body? Well, uh, its body is part of its attack move since it's a poison sting. Oh, no. 
Yeah. Yeah. You don't happen to have an antidote on you, do you? No. Because that's a no. that's a nice good hit there. Oh. I mean, I would take that hit, but let me put this in perspective. Churchwick cannot take that poison hit. And you are also poisoned. Oh. No, wait, no, 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 sorry, you're not. I didn't quite roll high enough. All right. Usually it's his status effect over time you take damage. Okay, but it's fine. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. You take three poison sting damage, and now you need to make a uh, constitution roll to hang on to the wormhole and not fall to the ground. Sixteen plus, you said constitution? Yep. Seventeen. Alrighty. And you're using your Pokemon stats for that, right? Right. Yeah, alright. So you're good. Now it's Turtwig's turn. Oh, gosh. This poor Turtwig is looking up that tree and he's like... Ah, it's like those videos of a dog hanging onto a, like a rope over a lake. Yeah. Now Turtwig <laughs> is just going to climb up and bite onto... On the Fennekin to pull him down. Oh God! Can can the can we just keep an eye out to you know make sure? Sure. Uh, I guess that means now it's Fennekin's turn. Yeah, make sure that that ain't a. You know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. I would like to. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just sitting here laughing. I'm dying on the inside. I would like Finnegan to try and pull down the Wurmple. All right. This time, since you do not have a running gravity pull advantage, you will do it with disadvantage. Okay. Because you are uh, hanging off the tree with no climbing ability. Okay. Okay. So my lowest was a three, so that's a four. I'm going to go with no. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Which is funny because it was close because I rolled bad. Oh. But, unfortunately, uh, you're still hanging there. Just hanging in the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Wurmple's gonna try to sting you again. So close to that poison damage. But I did hit. Four, three damage. Okay. I'm into single, di single digits of health now. I was gonna say, you should be getting a little lower now. <laughs> I'm at nine. Uh, yeah, that makes it Turtwig's turn. Can Turtwig do anything while they're in the midair? It doesn't have a climbing speed. It does not have a climbing speed. Nope. Neither did Fennekin, but it, it did a, 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 a... Did some bullshit. It's also got some claws and shit that I can maybe, like, excuse a little bit of climbing. You know, 10 feet into the tree. Yeah, that's all right. If it was 20 feet, it would have been like, nah, you fell off. Yeah, but then again, this is also Turtwig. Turtwig is a turtle. Is a yeah, turtle. yeah, it's probably so... not getting up that tree. Mm -mm. Anyway, uh, so... yeah. Can I ask? Can sure. I ask? Um, in a Pokemon battle, what I know societally, how much to the point which trainers are able to like. Say the Pokemon is going to fall a ten foot drop somehow. That totally would never happen, but say it would. Um, is it normal for the, the trainer to go in and catch the Pokemon? I mean, I probably. Okay. Might be a good idea because that that uh, Wurmple's thinking about climbing higher. Uh, but I do have the Turtwig on standby, trying to make sure he doesn't. Yeah, the Turtwig's down there, ready to catch. <laughs> That's standby. <laughs> Okay. I okay. also so want everybody now? to remember that you're currently fighting with the Jigglypuff marker on your face. Absolutely. <laughs> your enemies, your enemies are just so bewildered they can't hit you. It's like, what is that? What? Are, what? <laughs> okay. Well, at least she has it still on her. I told you I took mine off. I know that for a fact. What you tried? I was like, yeah. how? With what? <laughs> what did you use to scrub it off? <laughs> With some water and some I mean, leaves, or um, <laughs> just some well, good old dirt, just rub it in. 
I mean, to be fair, the tinderbox does come with some form of probably cloth, right? It's a, it does a, it's a tinderbox, right? Uh, I don't know if a tinderbox would come with cloth. I mean, it has it, to have something it uses to burn. True, know. but typically cloth wouldn't be your go-to burning material. Not if you would have cloth with a torch set, oil-soaked rags and whatnot. Well, oil and rags. But I don't know Is if it my you guys turn, get one. By the way? Yes. Yeah, yeah it, we're just sitting it's... here trying to wonder the logistics of... I know well, first we she one. asked if her Pokemon could be caught, then you asked... <laughs> but yeah, it's Finnegan's um, turf. I would... Uh, Amethyst will go up and stand below the Fennekin ready to catch her. Alrighty. That's a move. And... So that's that's not an action, just a move action. Okay. And then she's going to drop. Alright, so the Fennekin drops down. And I catch her. Okay. And then I set her on the ground and I return to my spot. Alright. I set her on the ground with a gentle little pat on the head and then I return to my spot. All right, so Fennekin's currently on the ground exactly below the tree, yes? Mm-hmm. And what is... I don't know what else... I don't know if that counts as movement. I think that just counts as movement, kind of. But... I don't have anything I can do, so... Oh, oh, wait, I'm a liar. I'm going to... If I can... What does Tail Whip do again? Uh, I believe it's a melee move, but... Is it? I believe so. Oh, let me see what oh. the heck it does. Yeah. I thought it was a howl move. Uh, no, that's no, usually roar. Uh, it is actually not a melee move, so you can use it. I will use tail lip. And what it does is it lets you add a bonus att to uh, attacks against that creature if it fails a wisdom save. Interesting. Okay. But I yeah. will do that. Alrighty. So uh I gotta make a wisdom save. I did no, not make the wisdom save. No, the only problem we're running into is hitting it. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Well, Eventually technically it's run string shot. <laughs> it definitely will. Uh, I don't want it to drag on forever, though, so I'm probably... It'll just come down the thing. It can't win the battle from up there without Psyduck. So it's going to come back down to the ground with its 10 feet of movement and uh, attack with another poison sting. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Get poisoned! No! Oh, also take... Four damage. I only have five left. Personally, I was surprised that you just didn't swap out the Phoenix for the Vulpix. I said I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'll, yeah, that Vulpix is dope. Yeah. But you get why I say that, right? Yeah. But I said I wouldn't. You know, the other thing is Vulpix's move is actually ranged, too. Of course it is. Okay. So right. I take my poison, da I take my damage. I am looking for the... There we go. So, poison creature has disadvantage on all ability checks and attack rolls and takes an amount of damage equal to its proficiency bonus at the end of each of its turns until it faints or is cured of its poison. So, yeah. Mm. Turn to its turn! Mm. Well, might as well. Oh, right, I get advantage on that, right? Or is it just a plus? Plus one, yeah, not advantage. Okay. Which, what if it would have made more sense, honestly? It would, except for Tail Whip and those kind of moves can stack. That's a hit. That's true. 
Yeah, that's even what it says in the spells. This can stack up to five times or whatever. And then does it also apply to the damage itself, too? I didn't check that. I need to double check. Because I'm just going to score. Uh, just one off. See, this is why homemades are rough, because their wording... To be fair, the regular D&D &D books don't always have the best wording. It doesn't really say. It just says, save on a fail, the ally adds plus one to any attack they target it with. Doesn't say damage, doesn't say attack roll. They kind of put that one up. So I'll let you choose to either use it on your attack roll or on your attack. I mean, I already kind of used it on the attack roll. Well. There you go. <laughs> There's your answer. All right, six damage. Good to know, good to know, which makes it Fennekin's turn. Is it, like, right on top of me? What's that? Is the, is the Wurmple, like, right on top of me? No, I mean, it's next to you. It came out of okay, the tree. So so does it have, um, is it in melee range? Yeah. Okay. Can I use my Pokeball and make it, make my Fennekin go back in the Pokeball from a distance? Like I can in the games? I'm gonna s check. I was gonna say yes, but I think they actually have something for it. Yes, you can recall your Pokemon to from up to 60 feet away. Call Fennekin. Alrighty. And then I'm going to say, listen, Chad, I'm really sorry about this, but I'm going to give you my potion. So I give, I give Chad my potion. Okay, well, you can't do that, because uh, that's another action. So it's like a full action to call and put out a Pokemon, and you cannot... If you call, oh. you have to put out. Okay, then I set I set um, Chad on the ground in front of me. Still a good distance from the the actual fight. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Now Trust it me. is Wurmple's turn. Uh, Wurmple is going to use Poison Sting on our nice little Turtwig here. And miss. So now it's turn to extern. Wait a minute, miss? Yeah, it missed. Good, good. Freaking good. Yeah, for you it is. Yes, the heck it is, because you know darn well what that yes, is. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's why I came after you instead of going back after fucking the other Pokemon. It's like, ooh, my my preferred meal is here. See, that's what I always imagined from reading the Pokemon manga, because it's way more graphic and violent. I just, I just imagine the Pokemon ecosystem like the Wurmples eat the eat the Turtwigs and the Turtwigs eat the. Uh. Jesus, good God! Yeah, no, the that is the more the dark side of Pokemon. Yep. I actually want to go back and read that manga. It's pretty good. <laughs> Said you get a see, you get a see of Goldeen murder a Poliwhirl in like the first chapter. Blood everywhere. Anyway, it's Turtwig's turn. Turtwig missed. Well, that uh, that makes it uh, Vulpix's turn, technically. So, so now I'm you sorry? can give it a potion. Now I give it a potion. And then your turn is over. How much does the... Well, no, because I have movement still. Oh, uh, true. How much does potion heal for? That's a good question. 20? Probably. That's what I'm guessing, but... Uh, da, da, da. 
Okay, so that's fine, but you got to tell me how much they actually heal by. 2d4 plus 2 HP. 2d4 plus 2? Yep. Bullshit. In the game, they go for more than that. 4, 2, 6 plus 2 is 8. So she gets, he gets 8 health back. Bullshit. How much did he have? 2. Ooh! So now he's at 10. E. I'm gonna have him stand more beside me instead of in front of me. Okay. So presenting my full, my my Fennekin is my. Yeah, that's Vulcan fine. Standing right I, there. I'll event went for your caught Pokemon. I'll get them models for next time. Uh, okay. that makes it Wurmple's turn. And I think we all know what Wurmple's doing. Why is that sting? Oh, you are so lucky. Good. No, no, no. You're so lucky that you don't take crit damage. Yeah. Hooray. You still take Good. double damage from this, which is four, and you're poisoned. Yeah. Yep. No extra damage dealt by a crit hit. Right, it's not from that, it's from the fact that it's poisoned. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said you're lucky, or else it would have went up to 8 damage. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why I said you're so lucky that you have a crit run, or else you would be, uh, that would have done quite a bit. And with being poisoned, it would not have been a nice trip to the Poke Center. Uh, four total, it's just four. Oh, good grief. And then it's Turtwig's turn. I keep running. <laughs> Turtwig cannot do... Alright, uh, that makes it Vulpix's turn. Please. Come help this damn Turtwig. Uh... The Turtwig with using Powder Snow. How does that work? Powder Snow is a ranged attack move. Yes. So you roll Four. like a ranged attack, and then it does damage and has a chance to freeze. So it's a 1d20 plus what? Uh, let me double check. I believe... Uh, because I think I looked that up, and I... Dexterity. Plus one. Okay. Roll, and roll. Right off the game board again. Awesome. Okay, so that is a natural twenty. Oh, nice. Um. Now you roll a one d six plus uh your dex bonus. One d six. Plus dex bonus of one. Wait, because let's. Because it's a nat 20, so it's. Yeah, it's a crit, so I would double the dice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so three damage. Three rolled or three total? Three total. I rolled right. a one. I need to check something. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Damn, that's unfortunate for some some people. However, yes, I am frozen because you rolled a nat 20. Hey! Wait a minute, but also, isn't that a bug type? It is. Unfortunately, bugs take two times from flying, rock, and fire. No, nah, yeah, I thought I thought for a second it was ice too, which is why I double checked. But it's grass that takes damage from ice. Yeah, that's why I had it go the other way around. I know that one for a fact. Yeah, grass, ice, okay. and 
Yeah, grass, ice, and rock have the most weaknesses. Yeah, because let me put this in perspective. A water type can learn ice moves, and it sucks with Bunge when you forget that. Yeah, it is. It's like I always keep grass to fight fire or water, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's not actually a good counter. It's better to just have a better water type. <laughs> uh, or, anyway. Or yeah. at least electric type. Yeah, if you can keep electric. My problem with electric is that it uh its resistances are only to things that like steel don't show up a bunch. Mm. Granted it only takes two time from uh ground, but you know. Anyway. Uh with that said it's uh it's Whirlpool's turn again. And Whirlpool's but frozen. he is, but just like in the real game, that's just a chance to stop his movement. Which I thought was really funny. I tried. You tried so hard. <laughs> I swear to God, you were gonna make these jokes that are gonna get us all like noped out. There we go. Oh, never mind. Say so they changed it. Mm -hmm. So instead, he rolls to break out of his ice prison and is now free of his ice prison with a roll of 15. Damn. And it's Turtwig's turn. Don't miss again, Turtwig. It could. Oh, I forgot on the end of the last turn to make you take poison damage. Oh, well. I would still take poison damage even on the Pokeball? No, not you. Turtwig also got poisoned. Okay. Yeah. Now you take your poison damage. Which is equivalent to your proficiency bonus. Unfortunately for you, you're also a grass type, so it's times two. Yeah. Uh, I think your proficiency is only one right now. Your proficiency bonus for your Pokemon. Yeah, that's a, no two is a point. Uh, oh, yep, two. it is. So you take four damage from poison. Yeah, reason why thirty six of reasons why um I'm not meant to be the tank here. Uh, that makes it uh, uh not Penny Volpix's turn. Uh, rinse it or repeat. Alrighty, let's do some snip powder snow. 16 plus 1 is a 17. That is a hit. Whoops. Okay, and that one... That one is a 6. Plus 1, so 7. Alrighty. 7 damage from that powdered snow. So the uh, the powdered snow hits the Wurmple, and it suddenly crumples up into a little ball for warmth and falls over... You've won! Congratulations! Dun 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 My dun, dun dun dun! My god, but at what cost? Uh, what cost? for this, you got... That would have been... I believe... You should get... God damn it, where'd the food thing go? So you should get, uh, roughly 500 experience points. Between the two of us, or both of us? Between the two of you, so 250 apiece. Oh, okay, so church has got all that. Yeah, I, uh, your Pokemon, you actually, I think it, belie I believe it lets you divvy it out how you want to, but uh, you can you 
you can have to divvy it up between your two Pokemon since you use both of them. Okay, so it's 50-50 split for me? Yeah, of your 50-50 split. So yeah. Turtwig yeah. gets half, and then Fennekin and Vulpix have to split half. Yeah, half of 250 is 120, no, 175? It, it, yeah. it doesn't have to be an even split. I think it lets you choose. But I'm... I'll just give 175 to each. Actually, you know what? No, I'll give... I'll give an extra 20 to Chad, so that way they have the same XP. Okay. So, 155 go to Vulpix. No, 155 go to my Fennekin. You got me doing it. Easy to do. And then, then 190. Although, to be fair, you're doing it in the other direction. So. It's true. 190 go to Vulpix. One of the three skills that you get, which is withdraw, withdraw, absorb, and leave. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Volk had twenty XP, and I want to get them at the same amount. Am I stupid? So you have two hundred and fifty to work with, yeah. Yeah. You had twenty on. Fennec, or whatever, already. Yeah, Fennekin, yeah. So you have 270. Half 75 is 35, so you need to put an extra 10 on to one of them, so the other one gets 10 less, which means you'll need to give 145 to the Vulpix. Or no, if you wanted, you wanted the extra 20, so... I have the, the 20 XP from that went to the Vulpix from catching Chad. So, then you have 230, which means 115 to each of them. So 115 to each of them. Would give them both the exact same amount of experience at 135. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Vulpix, thank you for helping me. Uh, both of the uh, kindly gentlemen smile, and thank you so much for having a wonderful Pokemon battle. Now they have to go make sure that their Pokemon aren't gravely injured and in possible need of surgery, uh, but they must give unto you a boon. And uh, the boon they give unto you is, I don't know, uh, 500 P each or whatever, Poke Dollars. Nice. 500 monies. So now my question is, in the games... I could always just go back home to heal my Pokemon. You can go back to the Poke Center. Did we come from a Poke Center? Yeah. Is there a Pokemon Center at our home? Uh, in your hometown, but yeah. Not not in your house. Not that rich. Okay. Okay. We should do that then. I think that's a good idea. It is back the way you came. Let's jump over the ridges. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or else I will absolutely hit you with the Pokemon encounter. Yes. Jump over ridges. I'm sure Jewel would agree. Uh, I am too. Uh, by the way, both your Pokemon are going to faint on the way back home. <gasps> no! Because they do, in fact, take poison damage in the ball while you walk in the game. But yeah, so, but, we, you know, we'll assume that you make it back without hitting anything in this little patch of forest down there. I'm crying as I enter the Poke Center. Can you fix it? Can you fix my babies? To be fair, only one of your babies passed out. Oh, that's fair. Just trying to wipe you guys on the first run. That's one thing I do like about this is it's like, all right, I can wipe you in this without fear because it's Pokemon and you don't die. You just go to the Poke Center. That's true. Anyway. So I set I set my Pokeballs on the counter. Well, I go into the I go into the Pokemon Center and I say hello. I would like to heal my Pokemon, please.
They say it's gonna cost you. This is America. This is America. There's no. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. That's sad. I'm just kidding. This is. <laughs> like a... This is Pokemon I... America edition. You always die because you never have money to heal your Pokemon. <laughs> Imagine Pokemon America. What do you mean I have to pay taxes on this potion? But we do have guns. Uh, yeah, that, that'll help. Not against all the Pokemon, but against the cute ones. Mm-hmm. Just Pikachu, I choose you. Glockachu, go! <laughs> oh, you haven't seen... I wanted to show you this. I think we're at about a point. I'm going to wait for Jewel to come back in, and then we're probably going to finish up for today. It's a good, okay. it's a good stopping point. I absolutely adore this little one-shot. So I, cute. I thought you guys might like it. You guys had been playing Pokemon in the, the chat, and I'd already been thinking about it before, so I was like, all right, this will be my one-shot for when someone doesn't show up, but everyone still wants to play. Yeah. And I was you like... Know, I, go ahead. I was like, man, I don't necessarily all the way want to do this today because I haven't prepped enough, but we needed an episode this week. Um, I work with high school students, right? I work with an Upward Bound program. And when we're not in the middle of a pandemic, I do a summer program with my staff of three with for 40 kids. And one of the things that we are in charge of doing is entertaining our children when they are not in class. And so we do that in a number of ways. But one of the ways I'm absolutely going to propose to Jacob is that we do a Pokemon Go tabletop RPG or Pokemon tabletop RPG. Yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, we're at Pokemon Center now, Jewel. Yeah. Yeah, we figured you wouldn't uh, protest to us. Uh... Nope. Yeah. Not even our. Especially, especially, especially since, since both... yours died. So, so did yours from the poison. Yeah. yeah, my Fennekin passed out, and so did your single Pokemon. Yeah. That's all right. You guys are in a town now. There's a Pokemart. There's but, a. Stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened to the funds from the Pokemon battle? Oh, yeah, you oh, guys right. got 500 each. Yeah, you got five hundred dollars. Yeah, I was about to ask because I was like, "Wait a minute." It's always Wait good. A minute. It's good to ask. I we just said it while you were gone. Uh, blah 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 blah. And did you hear how much experience you got? Yeah, I know okay. that I my um turtwig got enough to actually you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To level up and got skills and actually have actually you know attacks. Both of my both of my pony Pokemon are at one thirty five experience. Also, Jewel, I gotta show you. Uh, I gotta show you these videos because of this episode. But I gotta wait until we're off stream because I don't want to get hit with copyright from the dude. Mm -hmm. But we're pretty close. We're gonna wrap it up right here. It's a good. It's a good stopping point. Yeah, and plus this is a nice little. A little side thing it's you know you come back to it whenever you want you can add people in with no issues you know what i mean if another trainer shows up and joins the group it's not like yeah yeah but i'm still pissed about the damn jigglypuff but i'll take it that's you, that's that's why i have to show you these videos you'll laugh hysterically because of them yeah. we will catch you a second pokemon someday soon we all, you almost had that first one <laughs> Almost. Know, to be I fair, know. once again, that Jigglypuff would have been way more trouble than it's worth. Why? Why? Can I be humored of what the heck would have happened? We would have passed out every single one, every single time. It doesn't say that it it uh like doesn't affect foes. So unless you're thirty feet away from your Jigglypuff, you just start every fight running from your Pokemon. Get the away from me! It's like a fucking time bomb. Because Jigglypuffs are friggin' terrifying when they are evolved. I, I think wrong? they're pretty terrifying when they're not evolved. Axel, you know I'm not lying. They are terrifying once they're evolved. They are. Yeah. They... Wigglytuff is actually a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Like, a literal asshole. It's so tough. Exactly. Like, its name, you would think, ah, oh, it's just for, you know, rhyming sake. No. No. No, it is a geez. tanky motherfucker, motherfucker that sings yeah, you to sleep and then restores itself 
with the goddamn. It's like Blissey, for goodness sake. It falls under that same category as Blissey. It is. It's just annoying. It's so it's annoying. Like, oh, oh, it's a Blissey. What the fuck is it gonna do to me? It's kind of like it's not in the same style, but it's like the same concept of like fighting Wubba Fat. It's like it, there are a couple. Can, yeah, there's. You can get a, you can get around a Wubba Fat. That's the thing, though. You kind of get around it. You gotta like chill on it. You you can't. Brush past a Wobba Fat. You have to sit and deal with it. Uh, give or take. Because I've dealt with the Wobba Fats and I've looked at them and said, Oh, you, you trying to be tough. Had a ghost type just deal with his happy ass. I don't have a ghost type. No, we're just talking like in-game kind of mechanic-wise. I'm guessing a little bit of that. But, uh, so you guys go in... Uh, you get your socialized health care. Pokemon and then, are... Yeah, they... My, 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 my Vulpix didn't pass out, right? No. So it's back okay, up cool. at full health. And I still have telepathy going on. And yes. I say... And I say, are you thirsty? Do you need anything? Damn, I don't know. You got like a fruit cup? Some, do I have something like that? Do I have, do yeah. I have a fruit cup? Can I buy a fruit cup? I mean, I don't, I don't know. The janky ass town. You live here? Yeah. Hey, it's a good thing but, you got the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know, I've seen, I've seen in the future, and I've seen we're going to go for brighter, bigger, and brighter things. You and I together. I am not going to the sun with you. <laughs> Noted. I'll keep that in mind. Oh god, sweet James. Meanwhile, freaking. My character and me, uh, and my church wig are just gonna see if we can get the stupid marker crap off of us. That seems like a good idea. I guess we'll start, uh, the next session from the town. This seems like a good spot to stop. You know, a little bit of shorter stream today, but that's okay, because it's a one-off. Yeah, but this is a funny one-off. Because it has some Oh, it, it already had some great moments. I, I don't mind posting this one at all. Oh, yeah, no. Alright, so with that... Loved if we had did something for you know right around the holidays. That would have been nice to do like a Pokemon Christmas themed episode. And I wasn't thinking just Christmas, but also the previous holiday that we just passed. Halloween would have been nice. Is a little rough with everything going over around yeah. around it, but yeah. Yeah. And then everything. Well, you know, my my personal uh, um, motto is that uh, time isn't real. So Halloween is whenever you make it. To be fair, time isn't real. Exactly. I wasn't being facetious, I actually know that. Space time is real. Womp, 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 hum womp, womp, human womp, time womp. is not real. No, that's a construct. Yeah. Space time is very real, but it usually doesn't give a shit. Mm -mm. Space time does not give fucks about your problems. And with that said, I think we'll end it for this week. See everybody next time. Brah!